In this quick lesson, we're going to look at how to take a timed screenshot using the Grab app, which is built into every Mac. To launch Grab, I'm going to use Spotlight to do a quick search. Not much happened when Grab is launched, but it is running as we can see up here in the menu bar. From the capture menu, we can select what sort of screenshot to use. The first three here can all be executed without opening the Grab app. To capture your entire display, use Shift-Command-3. To capture a selection, use Shift-Command-4. And to capture a single window, use Shift-Command-4 plus the spacebar. Then click on the window to take the shot. These are always automatically saved to your desktop. Within the Grab app, though, we get options for a timed screen capture or for new MacBook Pro owners, a timed touch bar capture. This gives you 10 seconds to set up exactly what you want to capture. So I'll choose Time Screen Capture, and once I click Start Timer, I have 10 seconds to set up my screen. I'm going to open up the Go menu here in the Finder and display the Library folder, which I need to do by holding down the Option key. Here's my result. My problem with this is that I'd prefer the cursor to show up in the screenshot. We can set that in Grab Preferences. Here I can choose how the cursor will display in the screenshot. Currently no cursor is selected. I'm going to choose the arrow. Now when I take my time screenshot, the cursor will appear in the result. Let's do a timed capture of the touch bar on my MacBook Pro. So I'll start the timer, open the Photos app, and bring this image into edit mode. These adjustment sliders are available on the touch bar. Here's the resulting capture. You can learn much more about how to use your Mac with our full tutorials, available within the TMU Tutorials app for Mac or iOS. Thanks for watching.